good morning everybody so today we're gonna show you guys how it is in an average day in the van life first we have to go and wake up the sleepy bear wake up hey <laughs> that's really how you're gonna wake me up okay so after we're both woken up now what we have to do is raise the bed and get started with our day so after we wake up we like to remove the window cover so that we can take in the scenery of the place we're at then we move the curtain and swivel the seat around so jj can hang out in his little spot up front and then we make breakfast Santa Monica next to Highway 1 and we really like it here. It's nice, calm and it's a beautiful beach. The only thing though is right next to this road that can be pretty noisy during the day but at night it's, it's alright, it's not too bad. So right now we're going to head over to the beach area then work out a little bit. We're trying to do that New Year's right. So now we're back in the van. When we do take showers, of course, we put the window covers back and everything that went in the shower, we put in the back two couches, as you can see there. And that frees up our shower. And after some exercise, a shower feels really amazing. So we really love having a shower in the van. If you're thinking about getting one, we highly recommend it. You just feel refreshed and ready to go afterwards. So after we've enjoyed some time in the sun, we go take care of some chores if we need to. So today we need to do laundry and luckily there's lots of laundry mats here in LA. So we didn't have trouble finding one. It does take us a couple of hours to do laundry just because we have multiple loads. Um, but the good thing is that we have our home right here in the parking lot so that we can still get stuff done while we wait. Next, we need to fill up our water, which can be a little bit hard to find here in LA. All right guys, so now I'm gonna take care of the urinal thing from our nature's head composting toilet. And pretty much what you could do is dump this out at any bathroom or I guess in a dump station. But we usually like to go to bathrooms because we don't like to go to the dump stations. So here I go. So after we finished our chores, we decided to drive back to our parking spot for the night. And now I'm making dinner. And today I chose to make fish and chips, which I've realized is not the best meal to make in the van just because it uses a lot of dishes. So we had to use a lot of our power because we needed to use both the microwave and the toaster oven to fit everything. But it turned out really good. So that's pretty much our daily life here in Santa Monica. Um, but we do have some challenges. Staying here in the city is just a little bit harder for us to find places to fill up our water um, through the spigot because we've been having to do it with the, the glacier water with our um, collapsible jugs. Which takes forever because we only have five gallon collapsible jugs. So, And we have a 40 gallon freshwater tank so that it, you can do the math. It takes a lot of trips. Yeah, and it, it costs money obviously like if we were able to find a spigot for free that would be more ideal obviously 
Um, and then other challenges are just like finding a place to park for the night. Like luckily we have the spot that we have yeah. been staying in for almost a week now. Um, we know that it's always there, but sometimes it can get kind of busy here. So finding a good spot um, that's pretty level can be a challenge. And just dealing with traffic in the city and like the people and stuff can kind of be a lot. So yeah, there's people that can that park next to us just blast their music. But like she said, we've been able to find this parking spot which is right off the beach. It's, it's really amazing waking up and you have a beautiful view and you can walk down on the beach in a couple minutes. So we're thankful for that. So if you like this video and want to see more videos from us hit that subscribe button so you get updated when we make future videos also follow us on instagram and keep an eye out for our next video <laughs> now you know how i feel <laughs> come on babe to the microwave come on Ma'am, what's that giant rat next to you? Ah! What's going on, Chef Ramsey? Not the easiest things to get out.